In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Alright, so here we've got a problem which says prove that sine 3a times sine cube a plus cosine of 3a times cosine cube a equals cosine cube 2a. This may be a little different, not a very straightforward problem, I'd say, you know, for reasons you'll know now. So, you know, we have sine 3a here, you know, sine 3a, you know, what is it? Sine 3a equals uh, 3 sine a minus 4 sine cube a. Sine cube a, well, we don't know much about it. So, we're going to derive the sine cube a for, apart from this, which is going to make this problem a lot more simpler. So, we're going to get sine cube a is equal to 3 sine a. You know, just keeping this and then sending all the rest to the other side. 3 sine a, I mean, you know, sending this and sending this to this side. So, 3 sine a minus sine 3 a divided by 4. And uh, similarly for cos cube a, it's going to be cos 3 a is uh, 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. Therefore, you'll get cos cube a is equal to so now similarly we've got cos cube a as uh, cos 3a plus 3 cos a divided by 4 so now what we're going to do is we're going to use these values sine cube a and cos cube a and substitute here in these places all right so what we're going to get from this is uh, we're going to get sine 3a times e sine a minus sine 3 a divided by 4 plus cos 3 a into cos 3 a plus 3 cos a divided by 4. The next step what we're going to do is we're going to take out the 1 by 4 which is common in both the terms and now just multiply things all right inside. So we're going to get sine 3 a 3 sine a minus sine 3a into 3a is sine square a, right? So, yeah, that one plus cos square 3a plus cos 3a times 3 cos a, right? So, now what is evident from this is you take these two terms, all right? You group them, you see that 3 is the same in both the terms. You've got 3, so take out 3 right away. So, what we can do is you can take out 3. So, you take out 3 from that, you get cos a cos 3. I'm going to write this first and then come to this plus sine a sine 3 a plus cos square 3a minus sine square 3a. Alright, so this is one step. Let's go to the next step. Now, if you notice this one carefully, it is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b, right? You really have to go back to that formula where we applied, you know, cos a cos b plus sine a sine b, which is nothing but 3 times cos of a minus b, that is uh, 3a minus a, right? Well, a minus b or b minus a doesn't matter as long as cos is there because cos of minus theta is cos theta, right? That's why we're going to write this. So, it's all the same. So, it's going to be 3. The whole thing will be written as cos of 3a minus a because cos of a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Plus, now this one, you know, if you just recall, so cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sine square theta, right? So, that's what we're going to use here. So, this is of the form cos square theta minus sine square theta. We can write it as cos 2 theta. So, cos 2 of 3a, that's all that is, right? So, the next step is 1 by 4 times 3 cos 3a minus a is 2a plus cos of 3 times 2a. We're just interchanging this. You'll see why in, in a bit. Alright, because just see what we need here. We need cos cube of 2a. Alright, remember. So now, we've got 3 
cos 2a plus this is nothing but cos 3 theta 3a right cos 3a is nothing but 4 cos cube a so 4 cos cube a is 2a all right minus 3 cos a is 2a so positive 3 cos 2a negative 3 cos 2a gets cancelled 4 and 4 gets cancelled and what you've got left is cos cube 2a which is rhs well it may have been a little whatever you know you may not have felt really easy but well it's pretty straightforward if you ask me i mean not straightforward but it's all based on the formulas that we learned that's all just manipulation of them so here we've got it so cos cube 2a but how do you go there yeah you need to really practice it to you know get some speed on these so i'd say at the end of this problem practice a lot more like these and you know once you see them you'll know what you have to exactly do so that ends this uh, problem as well as the video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on trigonometry Thank you.